What's up guys, Chris schwartz Edmondson here from schwartz Edmondson Web Design. Let's quickly jump right into the computer because I wanna show you my new Mega Menu plugin for Squarespace 7.1, which I'm super stoked about. The link to the plugin is in the description below. So in this video, I wanna walk you through the installation and setup of the Mega Menu in Squarespace 7.1 plugin. So, after you have downloaded your welcome guide and you've copy and pasted the jQuery into the footer code injection and the CSS into the site-wide uh, CSS injection, uh, and that's under design custom CSS. So after you have your code pasted into the site, um, now we're gonna walk through the actual setup of the plugin. Um, and it's pretty simple, but it is very specific. So it's important that you follow these steps exactly. Okay, so the first thing we have to do is decide which item we want to become our mega mega menu item. Uh, and so in this case, I want the mega menu to show when I hover over the blog item. So let's go ahead and set it up for the blog. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come up to the main navigation and I'm gonna add a folder. And the naming convention for this folder is very important. It's gonna be mega and then whatever the name of the item is. Uh, so in this case, because I'm doing it for the blog, it's going to be mega space blog. And I'm going to hit enter. Um, and so then we'll drag it where we want it to be in the navigation. And I'm going to go ahead and click this gear icon for the settings. Because obviously we don't want it to actually say mega blog. Um, we just need the URL slug to be slash mega dash blog. So this is the naming convention that is very important for the folder. It's going to be slash mega dash and then whatever your page name is. So again, we don't need the page title or the navigation title to be mega blog. They can just say blog. This is the important part. Okay, so after we have that done, I'm going to hit save. Then I'm going to drag my blog page into this folder. Okay, so we have that part set up. Now we actually have to create the page uh, and this is going to be the content that appears when you hover over this, uh, the blog item in the navigation. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna create my page from scratch. So I'm gonna go ahead and add a blank page. And this naming convention is also very important. So it's going to be mega space page and then the name of your navigation item. So in this case, it'll be blog. So mega space page space blog, and then I'm gonna hit enter. Cool, so this, um, we don't want this page to be indexed. So I'm gonna go to the SEO tab first, and I'm just gonna hide this page from search results. Um, because obviously we wouldn't want people to come across this page by itself. It's just meant to be, you know, what comes up when someone hovers over the navigation item. So the really cool thing is we can add any block that we want to this page and it'll become our, um, what shows up when we hover over that element. So I'm gonna go ahead and add a blank section uh, and I wanna give myself a title here. So I'm going to say explore our blog. And then I don't want to make this title too big um, because we don't want our mega menu to take up a bunch of space on the page. So let's do a small heading. Now the next thing that I want to do is, so I'm th thinking the way I'm going to set this up. So I want my heading here and then I'm thinking I could link to like categories in my blog below. So a category could be like relationships. Um, it could be business. And then uh, what's another one? Uh, let's say finance. Okay. So then I could link these to the blog category links. And so when someone clicks a link in here, it'll take them to all the posts that have that category. So that'd be a really cool thing, um, some extra functionality that would make it very easy on the user to find the articles that they're interested in. Um, the next thing that I wanna do is I wanna feature some of my most recent posts. And so I wanna use a summary carousel block. Uh, and then I want to pull the post from the blog page. And in the layout, yep, we want three items 
Uh, that all looks good. And that's fine. Let's show the read more, read more link. And then for the number of items, I mean, you can leave it on carousel if you want people to be able to like toggle through, that's totally fine. Um, that actually might be kind of cool. So I'll leave it on four. And then I just want to drag this summary block next to my content over there. Okay, so now we got a pretty sweet uh, mega menu layout going. I'm gonna go ahead and hit save. And now let's go back to our homepage and we'll see what happens when we hover over our blog navigation link. Pretty cool. Uh, we get this cool mega menu effect. Now it's taking up a lot of space um, and I think I forgot to delete the default text block. I'm not sure, I don't want it to take up quite that much space. Uh, so I wanna make sure, okay, I don't have any extra blocks in there, that's good. I'm gonna go to the page uh, section height, right now it's on medium, I'm gonna go ahead and flip it to small, um, just to make sure that it's not taking up too much vertical space. So now I'll go back to the home page, and this is our mega menu item. So pretty sweet. Um, it is taking up a lot of the screen, which I don't like. So to make this uh, shorter vertically, I would probably get rid of the description, the excerpt from the blog items. So I'll go back to my mega page blog uh, and I'm just gonna edit this block, make sure the excerpt summary doesn't show. It'll be a little more compact that way. I think it'll be a better user experience for people. <clears throat> okay, let me just refresh the frame real quick. There we go. Cool. So now we get this awesome mega menu. So again, these would be links to different categories. We have a carousel up here in the header. Looks awesome. It is responsive. So the content make sure that it fits no matter what the screen width is. Really, really awesome to create some, you know, much cooler navigation on your Squarespace site. So this can be done with as many items as you want. You're just gonna repeat the process. And if you have a couple men mega menu item pages, I like to just go ahead and throw them in a folder down here. Um, so I'll just call this mega menu pages. And so that way I can keep all of my mega menu pages in like one space. And then when I'm not using them, I'll just toggle it closed. And so it's much more compact that way. And it's a little bit easier uh, just in terms of my own navigation when going through my pages. So let's do it one more time. I want to make sure this is um, as easy as possible for you guys. Let's go ahead and turn our about link into a mega menu item as well. So I'm going to add a folder. The naming convention is of course mega about for this one. I'm gonna drag that down. I'm gonna click the gear icon. Make sure the navigation and page titles are just about. Hit save. I'll drag my about page into that folder. The next thing that I wanna do is create another page within that mega menu pages folder. So I'll hit add page. And then I'm gonna call this mega page about, and I'll hit enter. And for this one, uh, since I'm just going really quickly, let's go ahead and just add a list layout. Uh, and ooh, these top two are actually kind of like really cool to choose from. So let's go ahead and go with this one. So it's kind of similar to um, the layout that I have right now, but it's a little bit different. Um, so we obviously wouldn't want headings to be that big in our mega menu because they take up a lot of space. Um, so I'm gonna change these to small headings. And then um, I don't know that I would want like so much text in here because again, this is gonna take up a lot of vertical space this way. So I'll probably delete that spacer block uh, and then I would delete this. And then, you know, you could turn these all into links that could go to different pages. 
Um, I'm just gonna shorten the descriptions on all of these so it's not taking up so much space. Then I'm gonna make sure that the section height is small and I'll hit save. Okay, so now when I go back to the home page, I'll go full screen. Our blog is a menu, mega menu item and so is our about page. So very cool. It's that easy to create mega menus with this plugin. You can drag any blocks that you want into here and make really custom mega menu style layouts. So one thing that I forgot to mention is that I want to mention real quick is if you go into the custom CSS, I have some variables set up here with things that you can control. Uh, so you can control the background color, for example. Um, right now it's set to like light gray by default. Uh, but of course you can change that by changing the variable up here. Now it's a white background. And same goes for the text color that appears in here and also the link color. Um, so let's just say we want to, you know, turn this section to this kind of like pink background uh, that our other background has, sections have. Um, so I'm going to copy that hex code. So now our blog background is that pink color. And now I think white would look better on it. So I'm just going to change the text color and the link colors to white. So that's like the little bit of customization that you can easily do. Uh, for these items. Um, it's not going to change everything like here the metadata and the featured title right here didn't change. So if you need to go in and add custom CSS to uh, any anything within a mega menu, uh, all you have to do is wrap it in the mega menu item class. Uh, so now I can target anything in here and it'll only affect blocks within my mega menu title. So for example, I want to turn this summary header text white. So I'm going to copy that class and I have it wrapped in my mega menu item. So now I'm going to say color hashtag FFF. And now when I hover over it, this featured text color is also white. So now I can keep going through anything that I want to change and update it with CSS. And I'll just make sure that I do it within this mega menu item class. Uh, and it, it won't affect other summary blocks on the website. It'll only affect summary blocks within um, the mega menu item. Okay, so just a quick note on that. All right, that is it for this one. I hope you guys are excited about this plugin. I'm super stoked about it. I'm going to be using it on my own sites, of course, um, as I do with all my plugins. So have a blast. Go create some awesome designs. I'll see you in the next one.